Another tool we need to talk about as we embark on our journey here with AWS AppSync is what we call AWS Amplify. Now, what is this thing called AWS Amplify? Well, it's nothing more than a JavaScript library that allows developers to speed up their development. So essentially what happens when you're creating our serverless applications is that there's a lot of configuring and managing services that have to happen for us to actually have a serverless application. So for that, Amazon decided to create something a little bit more simpler for the developer to help developers configure and manage and of course create applications uh, with features for AWS Cloud. So AWS Amplify has many modules, as you may imagine, because it's a framework. It has a lot of different components to it. So some of the modules we can use to speed up development are as follows. So we have Auth, which allows us to add authorizations to our application, which means dealing with users and manage users' logins and so forth. Uh, we have Analytics, which is another piece of the puzzle here that will allow us to see what users are doing in our application or with our application as they use them and so forth. And of course, we have storage, so way in which we can quickly create different kinds of storages in our backend for our app. We can create an API, so how to expose the data via GraphQL and many other ways, maybe RESTful APIs and so forth, we are able to do that. There's caching. And there's this other interesting module called UI components. So what this is essentially is Amplify gives us a very unified user interface for, let's say, forms, login forms, even the whole feel and look of the apps that we may create using AWS Amplify or any other AWS services. Okay. But the cool thing about UI components is that they are not written in stone, meaning they are customizable. So the idea is to give us developers some sort of boilerplate code, if you will, so that we can customize to our liking the way our application will look. So all of that can be found inside AWS Amplify framework. And of course, there are so many other modules that AWS Amplify provide. The way AWS Amplify is structured really is so that there is communication between the framework, the cloud services, and of course, developer tools. But in the middle, as you see in this triangle, there is what we call the CLI. So Amplify CLI is the command line interface. So essentially is a way for us developers to be able to type commands in our command line or terminal that will then trigger our cloud services and other developer tools to create what we want. So imagine we are creating, again, a blog application, and in the middle of the development, we decide to add, for instance, auth module. So we can just go ahead and type the right command in our command line or terminal, and then Amplify in the back end will go ahead and do all the configuring, the creation in the AWS backend for us. So we don't have to go and do anything else. All we have to do is just type the command and all the dependencies and everything is configured for us to start using in our application. Okay. So that is the power of Amplify. And we are obviously going to use Amplify to help with our development along with AppSync. Now, of course, there is more to AWS Amplify, as I said before. And so if you are interested in learning more, of course, you can always go to this amazing link here and learn more about Amplify. I really encourage you to do so because it will just really open your mind and see what's possible with Amplify. Okay, folks. All right. I'm excited you're here. I'll see you in the next video.